It's so beautiful. Oh, it's wretched. Oh, must be sandwich time. Hello, cozy friends. How are we this week? I'm so, 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 so excited to try out Disney Dreamlight Valley. This was not sent to me. This was not uh, whatever. This is, I just bought this on my Switch and I'm so excited to try it. Out. I've heard some good things and some bad things. I've heard mostly good things. I've heard like it is finally the next game I can be obsessed with after Animal Crossing. And then I've heard like it it feels kind of kiddish or just kind of like mobile gamey. So we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm excited to try it out. And yeah. And after this, I 100% am going to play this on, on Sundays while I stream because I love Animal Crossing. But if if I like it, if I like it, I need something new to, to really like get into, you know, I might like alternate. But if it's good, if it's good, I've seen people playing it. I haven't watched them play, it, but I've seen people on Twitch streaming it. So it seems like they like it. I don't know. OK, let's just play it. Let's just get into it. Also, if you don't know, I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Twitch on Sundays, every Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's where you can find me. And, and here, hello, I do demos. I do cozy demos and recommendations. There once was a dream world in which familiar friends, from the most heroic to the most villainous, lived together in harmony. However, as time passed, the forgetting set in and the world fell into darkness until oh, no. you arrived you have the power to make kinda it kind of looks like me <laughs> with your help this dream world can grow back into something magical this is a place so cute no worries where you'll wish time could get frozen <laughs> Where you can find a friend in everyone. And feed your passions. A place where you can find yourself at home. This is a place where every day is a dream come true. This cute as a button every single Valley. one of you. Not my Twitch notifications going off during that. Anyways, if you missed it, she said, this is Dreamlight Valley. I, I'm so excited. So this is technically free to play, but early access, early access, you pay $30 to get like the added bundles, if that makes sense. So like in buying the bundles early, you're getting access to the free game early, if that makes sense. I don't know what the bundles, I don't know what the bundles are. <laughs> I don't know what the bundles entail, but I guess we'll see. I just bought it because I wanted the game. Simple as that. I think that's a great marketing strategy and it makes them kind of not seem like they're being like microtransaction-y, you know? I don't know. It doesn't instill a whole lot of faith in the franchise, but it's better than, I don't know, a bunch of microtransactions, I guess, I guess. Anyways, cheers, I have I have a um, iced apple decaf macchiato so fall i'm feeling so folly okay i import can i import my avatar oh i have an avatar code oh my god hold on hold on pause everything because i already made my avatar and i love her so i'm gonna get the code okay so my avatar didn't save um i think it was 100 my fault i don't i think i just didn't i think i just exited off when i was making the like real instagram reel for it um, instead of saving. So that's on me. Um, learn from my mistakes, please. If you, I guess at this point you can make your avatar on here, but before you were able to make your avatar on the creator before this came out and then you can import it and I, I can't do that. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rush through this. Oh, that's cute. I want my eye color though. Oh, there we go. I'm going to rush through this because I feel like there's so much game for us to play. So speed past. See you on the other side. I 
I will say, I think they could have a lot more hair options. Just jumping in to say that. Like, ugh, especially with curly hair, they always do this thing where they're like, okay, we're going to do curly hair representation. And then they do like locks. They do like two styles of locks. They do a really short curly cut and maybe like one braids, which like they don't even have long braids. And then, and then like, that's it. They have some, see more locks. And then they have like this. Like, where is just long curly hair? They, they don't just make long curly. Look, like, look, they have like, I know this is like picky, okay? But they have so many different styles for other things. Look, long. Oh, that's a cute little bob. Look at that. It's just like, come on. I guess they don't have that many long straight styles. They could have more. Hopefully they make a, a pack, a hair pack. I'd buy it. I know I'm contributing to the uh, microtransaction-ification of this game, but... Yay! I hope I wasn't supposed to pick my clothes then. As you decide, it's time to leave Whatever. the city behind. Yearning for a pause from life's responsibilities. You arrive at a familiar place. A quick stroll along a nearby path leads you to a spot where, as a child, you found that life was simpler. And with a touch of imagination, all your dreams would come true. Finding the perfect place for a rest, you begin remembering these long lost dreams and drift off to sleep. Yay! I'm so excited, y'all. Cher ami. I love that. I have to tell my roommate to buy this. Oh my God. Maya would love this. If y'all need background, my best friend and roommate didn't play video games like ever. I made Maya try Stardew Valley. Loved it bought animal crossing for them oh, obsessed so i feel like they're a big frozen fan i feel like maya would love this well hello What's this? Are my spectacles enchanted or might you actually be real? I don't know, are you? Of course I'm real. Well, you can never be too sure around here. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. I haven't met anyone in ages and ages. <clears throat> Welcome to Dreamlight Valley, my friend. Dreamlight Valley, this place is strangely beautiful, sort of creepy. I'm gonna say sort of creepy. This place isn't dangerous, is it? Well, it's true that the valley is so as a sorry sight compared to what it used to be, but you have nothing to fear. Why, once upon a time, you couldn't find another realm with as much magic and wonder in it. Oh, but I haven't introduced myself yet. You're no doubt wondering who I am. Duh, you're Merlin. Uh, yeah, I know Merlin. Come on. It's so strange. I almost feel like I know you. You're a great and powerful wizard, right? But I well, well, yes, but not just any wizard. I'm a soothsayer, a prognosticator. I have the power to see into the future. And I'm also quite skilled at alchemy and prestigidation. Now that that's settled, there's a small matter of who you are. Me? I'm Ken. Ken, hmm. Well, the only way to get to Dreamlight Valley is to pass through dreams. So you must also possess great magic. Otherwise, how could you be here? I don't know how I got here, Merlin. I don't know. I'm scared and it's cold and there's thorny things. I just wanted to see Bicky and, and Remy. I just closed my eyes and drifted off and all of a sudden I was here. Magic had nothing to do with it. Quite the contrary. Magic had everything to do with it. In fact, I'm quite certain that you're the one we've been waiting for. You're gonna save Dreamlight Valley. What's in it for me? Save it from what? A wise question indeed. After all, a problem can't be solved until it's understood. If we're to restore the valley to what it was, a place of magic, of wonder, of friendship, we need to stop the forgetting once and for all. We must, we must. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't seem to remember what we were talking about. The forgetting? Ah, yes, the forgetting. You'll have to forgive me, but now you can see where it gets its name. All right, listen closely and I'll tell you the tale before I forget again. I love doing old man voices. Dreamlight Valley used to be a cheerful place full of happy villagers. Life was flourishing thanks to our ruler's magic. Oh, 
until one day our ruler left without a trace and the forgetting came. Our memories began to fade and Dreamlight Valley became a shadow of its former self. We did our best to preserve the memories of the life we had. Okay, that was quick. And as I can see into the future, I knew that someday someone would come to help restore the valley. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to help. Well, there's only one way to be absolutely certain. You're the one destined to save Dreamlight Valley from the forgetting. It'll be a small test of your magic. You see, ever since the forgetting, I've been puzzled about this house blocked by the night thorns. Come along, we'll investigate it together. I couldn't have done better myself. <laughs> Use A to interact. All right, basic basics, y'all. We got it, we got it. Okay, so what? What do I do? Yeah, pick up a flower, that's fun. Um, Squirrels, cool. I'm just going to pick up some flowers, honestly, babes. Someone said it's clunky, but I don't know. It's so beautiful, like the detail in this. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to relate it to something, like another game, but I can't, like, I don't know another game with this amount of, I mean, granted, Disney has so much money to throw into making this game look like this, but shoot, look at that. Look at the detail and the like, I love how stylistic it is, you know, like, oh, it's so cool. Okay. Girly pop. I don't know what you want me to do, Marilyn. Marilyn, what do I do? Enter. Oh, oh. I've consulted my notes and discovered that night thorns began inf infesting Dreamlight Valley soon after the, our ruler disappeared. No one, not even I can remove the blasted things. Only someone who can harness the magic of Dreamlight will be able to. And I'm certain that someone is you again. Of course, why else would I be here? But I'm just ordinary. What's the opposite of like pick me? You know, there's like the pick me trope. And then there's this, which is like such a like Disney Hallmark movie trope of like, but little old me, I've never done any anything ever in my life. I'm so bad at things. I just am the worst. I'm so bad, bad. Ooh, I'm the worst. I can't possibly do anything. And then turns out, no, she can do like two things. Whatever that trope is, I hate it. How do I remove them? Magic is different for all who practice it. But all you need to do is focus your thoughts on the task at hand. All right, let's do it. I sense the magic within you already. Focus on it and say the magic words. Fidgetus fidgetus, bibbidi bobbidi boo. I'm gonna say abracadabra, a classic. Straight to the point and quite a classic. See, he gets me. I get him, we're right here. We get each other, all right? So I'm just a magical beach. That's fun. Aha, you've done it, bravo, bravo. Ken, this proves you can harness the power of dreamlight magic. The fact that I'm more powerful than Merlin, please <laughs> step aside. Step aside, beard 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 be beardy? Beardo. Which one which one hits harder? Step aside, beardo. Yeah. Boom. Well then there's no time to lose. Let's go inside and see what's become of this house. Is this my house? Is this my house I get to fix up and make cute? <gasps> oh, it's wretched. Oh, look at all those vines. The fact that I literally didn't even know I had magic and now I'm just like, do 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 do. Oh dear, the night thorns have made their way inside the house too. That's strange. Suddenly I can't remember why we came in here. Must be the night thorns. Precisely, being near so many of them clouds the mind. You must remove them before they consume more memories. Focus your magic once again, Ken. Lots to, do, lots to do, lots to do. Lots to do, lots to do. It's been a long time since Dreamlight Valley received a what? Okay, I need to move my head because I need to see, are those like tasks that I have? Remove the night thorns. Okay, yeah, they're like little quests that I have. Okay, just gonna move all the stuff down here. Remove, remove, remove. Oh, yeah, things, well, they always seem to have a bit more magic when you're around, Ken. I'm so sorry I'm busy. Sorry I'm busy. I can't talk right now. I'm, I'm, I'm getting rid of gross things. Oh. Okay. Just stomp it out. All right. Can I do anything else? I love it. I love my moldy house. Oh, and I have storage. Stop. Let's put some. Let's put some stuff in storage. What's this? Okay. Let's investigate the orb. A puzzle piece. <gasps> Memories? Oh, Mickey. Okay. Wow. <gasps> this is fun. Oh, I like this. <gasps> Look at all the fish. 
Oh my, the fact that I know so many fish just from like Animal Crossing in Stardew Valley, like walleye, I would not know what the hell that is. The birds though, that's fun. Little crocodiles. I like that you can actually see what, like, I feel like usually they have it blocked out until you actually like collect it, but I like that you can see the goals you have here. Oh, <gasps> all the food. Shut up. Where's the ratatouille? Where's the ratatouille? Where? Where? There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Looks just like the movie. Clothing sets. Oh, I have, I have a lot. Okay, yeah, these are like the classics. Well, I want to change. Let me change. And there's furniture. Can you see all the furniture too? Oh, you can't access it yet. That's fair. That's fair. I don't have a home yet. Crafting, characters. <gasps> Wally, Moana. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, they're so fun. Okay, my quests. Oh my God. Complete duties to earn tokens. There's, this is too much right now. Unlock premium, unlock the premium star path to progress faster and get more rewards. See, there's the microtransactions, friends. Watch out. To progress faster? No. What is this? Animal Crossing in 2020? No. Spend tokens for exclusive rewards before the event is over. So much happening. I do, like, I appreciate the fact that there are live things that keep the game interesting. I kind of wish that Animal Crossing had that. Even if it, even if it costs money, like, let it cost money, whatever. I like it. It keeps it interesting. It keeps you, like, coming in and, like, what's new? What's going on? Sorry, I'm just trying to see what's going on here. Okay, so these are, you get tokens for doing these. Awesome. Okay, let's talk to Marlin. Goodness, the glowing orb you pulled from the night thorn. It's, it's a memory. It's like a fog has lifted and I can recall something of great importance. Mickey Mouse and I were at the dream castle and we left something there, something important. Let's go find it. That's the spirit, of course. I can't remember what it was, but, but wait, there's something else returning to me. When our ruler left, who's the ruler? The royal tools were lost, scattered throughout the valley. We must find them quickly. They're filled with ancient and powerful magic. The royal tools? If I could find those, then maybe I could help the valley. You have a pure heart, Ken. It's only through helping each other that we'll get out of this blasted mess. First, we must obtain the pickaxe. When the forgetting came and our ruler left, we found the pickaxe driven into the blighted stone in the plaza. Come to think of it. That was around the time the sky went dark and the night thorns overran the plaza. Though it's all a bit of a muddle, I'm afraid. No one's been able to lift the pickaxe from the stone. Ooh, but then no one was you, Ken. And after all, it wouldn't be the first time someone pulled something from a stone and became a hero of legend. Pull the pickaxe from the stone in the plaza. Got it. Anything else? You must also find the other three royal tools, the shovel, the watering can, and the fishing rod. You'll need them for what's to come. That is, if you're staying here with us. Of course. Magnificent, then this house shall be your home. You'll need a safe place in the valley to eat, sleep, and keep your energy up. It's got so much potential. The other ones were so mean. <laughs> That's the spirit. Just as a whispered word can conjure great magic, this house holds much promise. In fact, I seem to remember that the ruler of Dreamlight Valley had a house like this once. Perhaps you'll do as much good for the valley as our ruler did. In fact, here's a little something to get you started. If you ever feel like you need a boost of energy, there's something in there that will fill you right up. It better be a bed. Is it a bed? I hope it's a bed. Now then, I'll be at the dream castle. You can find me there when you're ready. Here's my theory. What if we were the ruler of Dreamlight Valley as kids? Because, you know, we, as kids, we have our imagination and our dreams. And Disney is essential to us. And we dream in Disney. And we care. We have all this love and care for these worlds we create in our minds and our hearts with the Disney characters. And then we grow up and we lose that. We lose touch. We lose sight of it all. And, and we forget, you know, responsibilities with responsibilities comes forgetting that childhood wonder, that childhood imagination and, and dream and light in your dreams. And you get to a point in your adulthood where you're like, I would like to connect with my inner child again. And so you sit and you give yourself and your inner child the time to reconnect with those feelings. And that's what this game is. That's what this game is. And I'm sticking to it because that makes me happy. And I like that. Okay, open. Oh. Oh, an apple, cookies, and a chair. Was that a chair? Oh my God, I can customize my outfit. Okay, okay, okay. I had the cutest, oh, 
okay that's fine i can't customize my outfit yeah that's fine i didn't want to customize it yeah that's fine Ooh, i have a wooden floor oh my god that just made it so easy cute chair i want to get rid of like i want to get rid of this yeah let's 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 remove that let's let's remove this the others can stay i suppose cute oh that's ugly too so i can regain my energy is the upper left my energy look how she sits oh cute okay crafting i do wish you know an animal crossing where you can use the left stick to like hit the things quicker i wish that was a thing because i'm impatient and you know what i simply don't like to scroll for longer than i have to furniture sets awesome okay let's go girl let's go girly pop hey what else is new Ooh, repair house collect okay what am i doing do i still have cobwebs up there how do i get those off i don't want those is it just part of the fixture it's just a cobwebby old yuck hold on i want all the old out out with the old <laughs> in with the new since we're uh since we're talking disney remove remove we're gonna have no windows no light only positivity hello uh, skies of what goodbye skies of gray hello skies of blue rotate camera how do i rotate z there we go okay interesting all right well let's get rid of you now i just have that song stuck in my head i'm so sorry oh there's an undo this is, I'm, it's a little bit hard it's a little bit hard to navigate but maybe i'm just dumb i do appreciate that there's an undo because you know who doesn't have an undo or at least i don't think so animal crossing not to compare games but animal crossing doesn't have an undo maybe they do but i don't think so hello you want an apple you are so cute i love you <gasps> wow cool all right now i gotta go pull the thing out of the thing again this is the dream castle it holds many secrets or answers or oh blast it all i can't seem to remember what's inside i bet that inside the castle we'll find the key to saving the valley precisely the castle is filled with mysteries and wonders if we're going to restore dreamlight valley to its former glory we must get inside the night thorns are huge the night thorns that encase the dream castle aren't like any you've dealt with before they're stronger and will take more of your magic to defeat follow me there's still much to show you off with you now <laughs> off with you now you said to follow me can i jump over this no okay Everything in Dreamlight Valley is made of, well, Dreamlight. It's the sparkles you see over everything and everyone, even a wizard such as myself. But Dreamlight became scarcer and scarcer as the forgetting fell over the valley. Ever since you arrived, though, the magic has started to come back. I wonder why. Because we were the source of the magic all along because it is our dream and it is our imagination and childlike wonder. All right. Just, you know reinserting my agenda here the magic is connected to me i don't feel very magical you see that trope i'm talking about useless useless girly is what i'm gonna call it and as long as you keep that wish in your heart you need not fear I forgot his accent for a second dream light magic grows stronger through acts of friendship love and care simple acts like removing night thorns or forging a friendship with me Gaze into the well, and you'll discover the different tasks that create more Dreamlight. But to fully embrace the potential of Dreamlight, you'll need to gather the royal tools that were lost during the forgetting. Remember, for some wizards, magic requires magical implements. You'll need those tools to save Dreamlight Valley. Mickey's been the gardener in the village since the forgetting. Perhaps he knows the whereabouts of the watering can and the shovel. Let's see. Fishing, fishing. Ah, yes, Goofy is very fond of fishing. He's sure to know where you can find the lost fishing rod. Though I haven't heard from him since the stones blocked our path to the meadow to the south. Well, you must find him, so I'd start there. Be active in the valley. Earn Dreamlight from the Dreamlight menu. Remove night thorns from the castle's entrance and other parts of the valley. I will say, you can tell whoever designed this was like a mobile game designer. Like the UI of it is very mobile gamey, you know? It's just, it's giving mobile game. But that doesn't mean I like the game mechanics 
are giving mobile game because I don't think they are. I think I'm seeing why people were saying that it was giving mobile game. Hopefully they're just not looking beyond the the UI of it and how that's making them feel like it's a mobile game and not just like looking at the game itself. Um, before clo- claiming your item, we suggest you sync your account to the cloud. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna claim things. Oh, these are the things that I paid for, huh? Okay, let me not let me not claim the rest of that. <laughs> Let me, let me wait. Oh, why did this die? Oh, I can just, I can keep removing. Okay, that's fun. It's interesting that it doesn't really, like, take anything for me to, like, it's not like, oh, it is taking energy. Okay, okay, that's good. I like that. I appreciate that. Oh, I got something. Watering can. Okay. Yay, it was just hidden behind my house. Open the tool wheel with ZR and select watering can. Water crops. Okay, yay, I can water this this little thing. Yeah, I can. Okay, let's plant this. Oh, I like it. I like the I like It's so easy. I like this. I like this a lot. It's very intuitive and it's it's just easy. I don't know what to tell you. Is there a reason I shouldn't be, like, getting rid of all these? You know what I mean? I'm gonna get that coin. Give me that coin. Oh, I can't get over there unless I have my pickaxe, but I never found where that was. Ooh, I got a... Ooh, there's a map. All right, where's the pickaxe? Babe. Yay. I will say... I don't think it's just me and what I'm doing. The Some of the, the menus are kind of slow, a little bit laggy. Just, I'm sure that will improve with time, but just something to think about. And I'm not, I'm not just trying to find faults, okay? I'm just giving, giving all of my impressions. Okay, I wanna clear a, a path, at least to the other paths. Yay, got some berries. Oh no, okay, I'm, I'm running out of energy. I gotta find, I'm running out of energy and I have to pull the, the pickaxe out of the thing. Where is that? Where did he say it was? Where? Okay, there's a shovel. Please don't pass out. I'm sorry. Yay! Okay, so I need the fishing rod and the pickaxe. Dig a little deeper, dig holes in the ground, remove obstacles, that's fun. That's really fun. I Look at Shea Remy. Oh, I can't wait till we can build it up. I need to eat something, I think, is what I need to do. Yes, cookies, eat. Oh, I love that, look at that. I'm like fully, fully healed. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna harvest these berries. This is like, I don't know if it's just me. Want some berries. Hey, go babes. I don't know if it's just me, but like I ha I have a really hard time. Is that a memory? Oh, is that a, rem a memory? What is it? Oh. oh, a puzzle? Stop. There's so many elements to this game. I love it. Love it. I don't know if it's just me. I have a really hard time with so with things holding my attention. Okay. See, I can't even, I couldn't even simply say that. And it's nice when something is engaging enough to do that. This game is engaging enough to do that. My attention is held. I understand why people are like, this is my new Animal Crossing because I'm I'm fully immersed. I'm fully invested. I I love it. Okay. Where? That look at that. That's huge. Oh, those vines. The movement of the camera though, I could see making me sick. <laughs> if you are a motion sickness person, maybe don't get this on the PC. Maybe get it on the Switch so that it's like smaller or you can play it on your TV a little farther away or turn the sensitivity down if that's possible. I don't know. I don't know where this darn pickaxe is. Oh, there it is. Oh my God. <laughs> Just as I was talking smack. Yay. Okay, so now I can get over to Goofy who has the... Wait, did that just make it light out? Oh my god. It was getting a little bleak around here. 
Okay. Oh, I love that. It's light out now. That was honestly kind of depressing me a little bit. <laughs> I was, I was not okay. I hate when things are dark. So I need to figure, is that a floating rock? I need to figure out, let's go to the map. Okay, here. So I need to go down the steps, these steps. Yeah, and because I have my pickaxe now, I can actually get by. Yay. Goofy, we're coming for you. We're coming for you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot the childlike wonder of life and... Is that it? Oh my god, that's it. Yay! Quickly track new quests with L. Okay, I missed it. Track a quest by using the track icon. Oh, I like that. Okay. You found broken, broken fishing rod. Find the person it belongs to. Well, I'm sure that's Goofy. Where is my boy, Goofy? Goofy, where are you? Oh, hi, cutie. Can I say hello? Oh, okay. It's fine. All right, Goofster, show yourself. Oh, is that a book? Whose house is this? Whose house is this, do we think? Oh, no. Is he inside, maybe? What if he was trapped? Oh, he was trapped inside this whole time! Look at him! Goofy! Oh, my tummy's grumbling. I don't know how to do goofy voice. Oh, must be sandwich time. <laughs> okay, that's all you had to say? That's it? Yes, give you the fishing rod. Gosh, it's so badu! <laughs> I can't. I can't do his voice. Say you're not the scary kind of stranger, are you? You're just a friend I haven't met yet, right? I forgot to keep recording. I forgot to start recording. Oh no. Okay, so Goofy, <laughs> I thought I was recording. Goofy gave me the fishing rod, okay? Cause I gave him his. I unlocked clothing. It just happened right after. And then I picked up a scrap of paper. I'll show you, it was a, it was a memory in Goofy's house. And it was the old ruler's journal, which again, from my understanding is me. The old ruler is me. But the scrap was like, oh, it was so nice to visit Goofy. It's such a good smile. So he showed me how to fish. I have all of my things now. Fishing around the valley. Hold Y to cast your line. Aim at the ripples to make sure you catch something. Press A quickly every time the circle turns green. Okay. Well, let's see. Ah. <gasps> Yay. Oh, I caught seaweed. That's so fun. I love catching seaweed. I know I'm supposed to... Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to hit it once. I see. I'm supposed to hit it once. Like that. And then hit it again when it's green. More seaweed. Blast. <gasps> Yay! A bass. The bass. It's always the bass. No one wants a bass. Finally. Okay. <gasps> Yay! Rainbow trout! Okay, now I can talk to Goofy. What do you know? You're a natural, Ken. That was fun. It sure is, and it's useful too. You can sell your fish at my stall as soon as we get it reopened, that is. Oh, the other thing was that Scrooge. Oh, his stall. Can I help fix it? Gosh, I guess it's a little more run down than I thought, but that's okay. Uncle Scrooge's construction company can fix it right up. You can use the sign to call him. I love that it's Scrooge because he's he is the capitalist uh, businessman, isn't he? Oh, I got another scrap. Another memory. Amusing rivalry lately. Scrooge can't for the life of him figure out why Goofy's stall is more profitable. Goofy started trying to help and that's going about as funnily as Goofy's help always does. Wow. It's about time Goofy fixed this place up. I'm glad he's got... It's about time that Goofy's... <laughs> I don't know how to do his voice. He's got you to help. Now let's get down to business. Goofy can have this stall at no extra cost since the valley needs it. But next time I won't be as generous. What say ye? He's like Tom Nook. Yes, let's fix the stall. Goofy's stall is now open for business. If you see another property you're interested in, don't hesitate to let me know. Simply go to the sign next to it. Fun! The art of earning star coins. Interactive, be interactive in the valley, gather resources, sell what you don't need to Goofy Stall, receive star coins in exchange. Fun. I don't, I don't, I'm not really under, hmm. I'm not getting the critique that this feels like a kid game. I don't get that at all. This feels exactly like, it feels like the exact same cadence and level of 
involvedness as any other farming sim. I don't know. Like, there's definitely more, like, prompts and stuff, but... Hi, pal. What can I help you with? Um, nothing right now. Thank you so much, goofster. <gasps> okay, I have to sell. I'm going to sell a bass. I'm going to sell a bass. Take my sea bass. It's stupid. See you later. See you later. Okay. I need to get to step in and um, put some stuff in my storage. There's so many quests to do. Is my plant already dying? Not even been a day. Are there days in this or is it just kind of perpetual sunshine? Expand and customize your house. Restore your energy by spending time in your house. Use your house's storage as a second inventory. Oh, I will. Oh, you know I will. <gasps> my house storage is full too? Well, how do I expand? 5,000? Oh my gosh, guys, I'm brokey. I'm brokey McGee. Okay, I'm gonna try and wrap up the initial. I think these are like the end. I'm having so much fun, I don't wanna stop playing. I've been playing for a long time at this point. Now sync to real time. <gasps> Your game is now synced to real time. The time will change from day to night. <gasps> Characters will follow their own schedule, so look out. Make sure to come back daily to discover new stuff. That's so cool. Okay, and that's Scrooge's shop, right? My word, you pulled the pickaxe from the stone. Oh, and, and look, now that the enchanted pickaxe is in the hands of someone worthy again, the blasted darkness that's hung over the valley has finally disappeared. Just trying to help. Which says marvelous things about your character. Yes, yes, I see many more great deeds in your future, and the royal tools will help you do them. The pickaxe can only be wielded by one who is worthy, which you most certainly are. In your hands, it will split rocks with just a swing. The watering can never needs to be refilled. It will speed up the growing process for crops and keep all that blooms here healthy. The fishing rod needs no bait and never gets snagged. With it, you can fish what lies at the bottom of the deepest sea in the shallowest pond. As for the shovel, well, it's just a shovel, but a very good one. You'll need it for gardening and finding objects hidden in the ground around the valley. I hope you're ready, for it's your destiny to bring great change to Dreamlight Valley. I like the valley how it is. Yes, yes, but it has the potential to be so much more. I did not mean to say that. You've already started on your journey. Why? Because of you. I'm remembering how Dreamlight Valley once was and how it can be in the future. We've lost so much, you know. Not just memories and tools, but magic and friendship, too. Those of us who stayed when the Forget Team began have been scattered. Some, even, some are even trapped. And now that you've found all the royal tools, the Wishing Well is sensing your newfound powers. You're ready to take on the well's duties and collect the dreamlight needed to remove the night thorns from the castle door. Let's start with how it all works. Gaze into the well to see what the valley needs. Completing even the simplest task will bring great change and help end the forgetting. As long as they're done in a spirit of love, care, and friendship. Then, once you've gathered enough dreamlight to remove those pesky night thorns from the castle, come and find me. Dreamlight duties are short tasks in the valley. Once completed, you'll earn dreamlight from the dreamlight menu. All right, let's look at the well. Okay, so the well is just the things that we already know. The things we've been doing. So basically, you need like all of the dreamlight. So it's just like doing all of these things. Okay, that is fair. That makes sense. Let us open the way to Scrooge's because I want to wear my clothes. Oh, ho, you give me quite a start. Don't you know never to sneak up on someone while he's contemplating his investments? Oh, I'm Ken, and you're Scrooge McDuck. Aye, that I am. You must keep up with the business news, though my business is in a sorry state these days. Just look at my shop. The whole village is in a sorry state. That may be, but you you can a be hopeless about it. Does he have, like, an Irish accent? Scottish? I don't know what that is. A true visionary sees opportunity around every corner. After the sky went dark, most of the villagers skedaddled, and fewer and fewer clients come in until they stopped altogether. But I can a remember something. I know I stayed to take care of my shop and my money, of course. Then, hmm. Oh yes, the night thorns blocked me in, and I can't even remember much after that. But like light glittering off gold, I'm starting to remember how the village used to be and all its investment opportunities. And the life's more about money. My life's about more than just money, is what I meant to say. Hey, of course, of course. You can I forget treasure. Oh boy. I've got a deal for you, Ken. If you help me make enough star coins to put my shop back in business, I'll make sure it's stocked with everything needed to put the valley back together. I see you've already helped Goofy get back in business. That was kind of you. I'm very fond of the lad, but he doesn't exactly have a mind for money. When you're ready to invest in my grand reopening, you'll find my sign next to my shop. Goodbye now. Toodaloo. Oh, you can fast travel. What? How much money? Are you ready to invest? As soon as I open the shop, there will be all sorts of furniture and clothing to purchase. You can trust me or my name isn't Scrooge McDuck. A thousand. Okay. The shop won't open itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a thousand coins. I need to chill out with Goofy and catch some fish or something. 
but let's just tr try and wrap up these initial tasks. Thanks for everything, Ken. Finding my fishing rod helped me fix up the stall. You're one great pal. Anything. Well, we sure appreciate it, Ken. In fact, here's a little something so you can help the valley even more. It's a free sample of some of the seeds I sell in the meadow. Cabbage, wheat, carrots. Thank you, Goofy. I get new stuff at the stall all the time, so come on by anytime you like. In fact, you can even be an investor and help me make it even better. Then I could sell even more kinds of seeds. Goofy, I love you. You're the best. <gasps> I'm level two. <gasps> Is that a floor? A new floor? I kind of like the floor I have, but that's fun. See, like even the the like leveling up and the rewards you get for it are very mobile gamey. So I get that, but it's it's not a bad thing because the actual game isn't mobile gamey. You know what I'm saying? Strengthen your friendships, gain experience, and level up. Your max energy has increased. Amazing. Yeah, awesome. So now I'm in a stage where I just kind of need to save up money. Yeah, save up money, do some tasks. So I think this is a perfect place to end the demo. Let's go sit by this beautiful little well. Oh, so many ugly, ugly things. There we go. I love this game. I love this game. I love this game. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. You and I both know I play so many demos all the time. And as much as I have thoroughly enjoyed most of the demos that I have played, there are so few that I come off the demo and I'm like, I need to play that immediately. I need to play it now. I know for sure I'm going to be obsessed with this. There are so few, like all of them are like, yeah, if I have the time, it'll be on my list. I'll get to it. If I have the time, if I'm randomly feeling like I want to play it. This one, I don't know what kind of, you know what they put in this, but they put something in it, whatever they were putting in Animal Crossing in 2020, because, oh boy, do I want to play. Oh my God. You know what it is? So aside from like the the, the storyline that I actually really like, I like that they're leaning into the nostalgia that you're now an adult, which I really think people were saying this is kind of like a kiddish mobile game. I don't think so. I think they knew who they were marketing to. They were like, yeah, kids will play this, but they knew who they were marketing to. They were marketing to adults. They were marketing to everyone who was playing Animal Crossing. They're marketing to cozy gamers. And you can tell by the way they play the game, by the dialogue, by the storyline. And I love that the storyline is like connecting with your inner child, connecting with your the things that make you made you happy as a child. I love that. There's like seeing familiar faces and, and knowing you get to unlock like Remy and all those people. Amazing, exciting, can't wait. So there's that aspect. I think that's really cool, just like world. On top of that, I think the um, progression mechanism is fun. Like it's already, it doesn't like, it's not daunting. Something about Animal Crossing, and I love Animal Crossing. I think Animal Crossing is a near perfect game. Not necessarily this last one, but as a franchise. Something about how daunting the huge debt payment to Tom Nook is right off the bat. That's kind of, it's kind of a lot. You're kind of like, okay, I got this huge task to chip away at. This, breaking the progression up into really like manageable things, like a thousand dollars. I'm like, all right, I just got to go fish for a little bit and sell some fish to Goofy. I really like that. I enjoy a lot. I love the animation style. I love the like cartoony, Disney y, whatever, but also the detail. I love the world that they built. Like it's very Disney parks esque. I love the trees. Like it's just so cute. I love that it's real time. I don't think I realized that it was real time. That's really fun. The magic thing, I wasn't expecting. I did not think that there would be magic themes, but it makes sense with the story. And I appreciate that. I love that they didn't just throw magic in. It makes sense with the story because it's a dream world that you're in. It's your imagination. It's your dreams, your literal personal dreams in life. It's so cute. It's cute. It's fun. Do I think it's worth it? Absolutely. Do I think it's worth it as a free game to play in the future whenever it fully comes out? I don't know what date it's coming out. 100%. 100%. Do I think it's worth paying the $30 now to get whatever? extra things but to be able to play it now i think so i really do think so i like i like it i really don't have a complaint i think the only complaint i had was what the ui i don't really like how the ui feels like a mobile game i feel like they could have made that a little more console gamey but what whatever 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 morning to you. Uh, good morning sir i love it i have nothing else to say i'm gonna continue playing this i will be streaming this on sunday for sure and probably a lot of sundays to come let me know if you've tried it let me know if you like it let me know if you're planning on getting it now let me know if you already got it let me know all the things just let me know your thoughts in the comment i want to hear and thank you for watching i love you stay cozy bye